Hey guys, new month, new theme. For the next few weeks, we're going to talk about the word stress and learning how to manage our stress. The number one population that is the most stressed out are the Gen Zs, you guys. So we're going to start out this video with what stress means to you. Okay. What is stress? Um, stress is when a bunch of things pile up and it just gets to be too much and it's like a teapot. Stress to me would be like in a very overwhelming feeling. Um, it can cause a lot of anxiety. It's kind of like, you know, when a lot of things are going on around you and you don't really know what to do with yourself, that's kind of what stress means to me. Stress is like anxiety, things that, I don't know, freak me out, I guess. Uh, stress for me is pressure. I'm feeling the anxiety of all the pressure going on around you. Uh, stress is just pressure from everything else, pretty much. Stress is an overwhelming feeling that you get when, for example, you might get it when someone asks you a lot of questions repeatedly. Um, you can't focus on anything because people are talking. Situation comes up and you don't know how to deal with it. I feel like being put, being have stuff put on your shoulders, like a ton of work and whatnot. All right, so the, that's the definition of stress. So if we look this up online, the actual definition of stress is your body's reaction to a challenge or a demand. So it's a body response. Our body produces physical and mental responses. And when this happens, we kind of go into like fight or flight mode and things arise and the feelings arise like anxiety and you know either going to the danger zone or going to avoidance and we manage it different right we all have stress it happens from time to time um and it's just it's just it, it happens when we feel like we can't manage or control a situation um and sometimes stress is positive and it can be productive like if we have a test coming up we study and we're productive in studying to make sure we're prepared for that test um, but then there's other things that are out of our control and we have to learn where to balance and find control in that stress now we all have stress and it all is different for all of us um, for me, it's just simply adulting. You guys will all be there adulting. I have a job. I have a family. I got kids. I have all these things that I got to balance out in, uh, and managing that stress. So, uh, I asked now my next question is what stresses you out? Um, being rushed, being unsure about a decision um family problems being around like a lot of people it kind of stresses me out lots of work without a lot of time to complete it my dad and his problems that stresses me out because i worry about it um family problems social interactions and work in school people and like eyes i don't like being eye contact feel like being put, being have stuff put on your shoulders, like a ton of work and whatnot. Okay. You have to take a ton of responsibility for everything around you. Um, my parents, a lot, mainly. All right, so we all have stress. We all have different kinds of things that may promote that stress. And I mean, you guys, we gotta learn how to manage this. Um, and not just that, it's just, if we don't learn how to balance um, the stress um, or you know somehow release it, it can really turn into, um, and I, in reality, it really can turn it into certain mental disorders like anxiety and depression and physical uh, things that will like just kind of carry on until we learn how to release or manage the stress and i i can just like name a few of like headaches and stomach aches um all the way to like heart disease if we don't learn how to manage the stress and how we do that again just how stress is different for everyone it's also different on how we manage that and um 
we all do it naturally. We all kind of deal with it already. And um, we all have coping skills that we do already. And that's what's key. It's coping skills have to be something that you like doing. Automatically do it. And it's already a habit. Now, if you want to learn coping skills um, and adapt those, you also have to practice those and do them often when you're not stressed or in crisis mode. So let's hear what you guys had to say about how you manage your stress. Uh, I'm not very good at it. I kind of just like try to get past it. I don't know. I listen to music a lot, so I don't like talking to people. I kind of just stay in my own zone. Um, I listen to music a lot. I do coloring and puzzles. Music, I draw, I keep to myself. I find ways to distract myself, that's about it. Stress by driving, that's one of the things I really like to do, or listening to music for just relaxing and that kind of. Um, trying to find hobbies like work and video games. My music, so then I can fo have something singular to focus on to help me go through. And then second, I manage it with also asking other people to help me out with that. You know, not taking the whole responsibility to myself. All right, so a lot of things stress us out and a lot of w different ways on how to manage that stress. Now, I'm going to challenge you guys to become your own therapist. And I want you guys to ask yourself non-judgmentally what stresses you out and why. Sometimes becoming aware um, of these emotions or messengers and understanding what they're telling us can help us better understand why we do the things that we do and I'll also help us manage it in a different perspective if we can see it in a different way. All right. Thank you, you guys, for those who participated and for watching this video. I'm glad you're here. Take care. See you around.